split. Nice 40. Four, four, nine. Hey, now. That was the, the expectation, the hope he could get under four, five, and here he is. He's done it. I think he's going to roll here. It's nice. He's, he's moving. One, six, eight. Oh, yeah. Oh. Seven, eight. Hey, now. I think he knew he did well. I think he said, oh, yeah, as he crossed the finish, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Someone <laughs> was happy at that finish oh, yeah. line. What a day. Day number one of the NFL Combine. It is officially in the books. We had some athletes running some quick times. And by the yeah. way, these aren't little dudes uh, hurrying down that line. No, no, these are big boys. Yeah, big it's dogs. NFL Total Access. Chase Daniel, Robert Turbin, Mike Am with you. We're going to be talking quarterbacks who take the field on Saturday. We'll also preview the DBs who go on Friday. Biggest takeaways, though, from day number one. Who's that player for you that really stood out to you? You know what? To me, it was Miles Cole. The def yeah. Defensive tackle out of Texas Tech. 6'6". Six, six. Uh, a little bit over 270 pounds. I just love the way that he moved. You see his 40 right there, ran a 4-6. And, and you watch him in the drills, right? The thing about a guy who's 6-6 is you want to see, can he have a low center of gravity? Can he get in and out of the breaks? And for the most part, he did really, really well, right? He had a couple slip-ups and things like that, but he was very progressive there at Texas Tech. And I thought he just had a good overall showing at the Combine. You know, I love that you're bringing him up because the reality is when you talk about the NFL Combine, it's an audition for NFL teams. Daniel Jeremiah doesn't even have Cole in his top 50. Yeah. And what did you tell me before we got out here? It's, it's about discovery. Yeah, right? I mean, the thing about the Combine is interesting, fellas. I mean, obviously, it's easy to talk about and focus on the top guys. But as a guy coming out of college who wasn't necessarily known as a top guy, it's about discovering the gems yeah. in the draft at the Combine, who can still be great players for your franchise now and in the future. And I think Miles Cole, going to the right team, can really be a good fit. Yeah, there was a top 50 guy, though, that did catch your attention. Braden Vest. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, the at dude, the finish line. The dude put on an absolute show. Yeah. And, and rightfully so. It was a three technique, running a four, seven, eight, and not only in the 40, but you look at the line drills that he was doing on the field, that towel drill they were doing, all this stuff we were sitting in there watching, like, oh, my gosh, this guy is making himself a lot of money. 6'3 and 5'8, 292, a 1 6 8 split, and a 4 7 8 40. This dude put on a show. And this is what I love about Braden uh, Fisk. You saw it in the combine interior quickness, able to get through the line of scrimmage. Finish runs. He's stout versus the run. Even on double teams in the tape I've seen, he can anchor in and really take on two blocks in one, and that is awesome. He's a physical presence. As you see here, splitting the difference between a guard and a tackle. This is a guy in a 3-4 scheme that can play nose or either four eyes. Okay, it's a three technique as well. This dude made himself some money today, and it was cool. Like you said, I can speak to it. I was an undrafted free agent, but when you go out there and you have Braden Fisk, his comp, Quinnen Williams? You said he made some money today? Quinnen like, Williams just got paid look recently. Look at this. <laughs> look at the comp, right? And this is what we talk about, these hidden gems. Well, he's not a hidden gem anymore. Right. He has moved himself up the draft board, and that is exactly what the combine is for, and that is why it's on national television. Because not only the scouts there were seeing it, but there's a lot of head coaches still at home, and they all watched it, and he put on a show. Yeah, I said he was a top 50 guy. DJ's got him 45th on his yeah. big board, which, once again, is available on NFL.com. The only person able to slow down Fisk for at least just a moment is our Kimmy Checks in Indianapolis. 